Hello, and this is my tutorial on how to make chain mail. Uh, you start with a bag of what's called jump rings. This was a bag of 750. Uh, this is about a half a bag here. I've used the rest of this particular bag to make my scale mail armor. You start by taking about nine jump rings and opening them up. You do that by twisting it apart, like so. Do that to ab about nine of them. I usually do nine. To do this, you'll need a pair of needle nose pliers jump rings and something to hold your jump rings and keep them from going all over the place because something I've learned the hard way is that jump rings do not stay well on graded surfaces. You can get different sizes of jump rings and in different metals. These uh, you can measure them in gauge, inside thickness, outside thickness, and metal. So next thing I do is I take a, another four jump rings. And most jump rings, unless they're prefixed, will have a small gap in between them because how jump rings are made is they're coiled around a stick and then they're either cut with a pair of pliers or I mean wire cutters or a saw. So one of the major problems a lot of people will have when doing this is that the two openings will come close together because by themselves they're incapable of letting a wire through but if two of the openings come together then the wire will slide right through and that can cause major problems because it can leave a gap in your mail and one time I had my mail come apart in such a way that it altered the pattern and I had to completely undo an entire section because when it had altered the pattern it had moved it over one ring and I finished the weave with incorrectly So when you're done, you should have it like this. Four rings wrapped around a single ring. What you want to do is you want to separate two of the rings and push it forward so it has this butterfly-like shape. And lay it out flat. Do this another nine or so times, depending on how many rings you've opened up. Depending on the gauge of the chain of the chain links, you can either bend it with your fingers or with a pair of pliers. Most people choose to use a pair of pliers because you can use it for all gauges of mail. And because it does make it easier. Generally, I'll open up enough rings, or close enough rings for two or three sets at a time. That way I have less time that I'm stopping and breaking in between.
One thing new beginners should probably know is that though chainmail doesn't take a lot of effort, it takes a lot of time. This small area here has taken me several days. There are several different forms that you can weave chainmail in. This is the most basic and the most common. You can also use chainmail to make things like jewelry depending on the weave, such as the Byzantine weave is good for making things like bracelets. The Persian weave is great for things like keychains and decorative part or pieces. Those are also very complicated. Beginners should practice more with more simple weaves before they continue on to such weaves as those. One thing that is not necessary but extremely helpful for when making chain mail is a scrutinous eye for detail. If you make a mistake, you need to spot it. Now, you can some people can look over the chain mail at a hole and see mistakes immediately. Others, it it would be a good idea to go through each line or column as the case may be and see if you can spot any problems. As I mentioned earlier, sometimes if you don't close the rings properly, the openings will come together and fall apart. Now, what that'll do is it'll make it so that only three rings are connected instead of four together and that can also cause a problem. So even though you may have gotten it right the first time, go, and you're sure you've got it right, go back and check. Once you have the desired number of mm, sets ready, set all but two off to the side, take another jump ring, and open it up. Set two of the sets so that only the back two rings are overlapping just slightly, just a large enough opening that you can fit a jump thing through. Make sure they are facing the right direction. That is very important also. Slide the jump ring through and close it. Some people will make holders so their chain mail can stay together properly. I don't do that. I have practiced enough that I can do it without that now. Other people will also make their own jump rings. You can make it out of nearly any metal. Some metals are easier than others. This metal is aluminum and it is soft and easy to work with. Other metals are a bit harder to work with such as carbon steel. I've known some people who have made titanium chainmail. Continue to connect all of the sets together as you did before until you make a chain of sets that you've linked with your jump rings.
The next step you're going to do is you're going to take your set and move it over till it's right up against your larger piece or if you're just starting your second set. Line it up so that all the links are facing the correct way and so that you have the correct number to make a single sheet. Do not... Alright, so here I've made a mistake here. I've accidentally connected three rings to a chain instead of two because I didn't close an opening enough. All right, once again, as you did with the other nine sets, open a jump ring and slide it through the four rings on connecting the two sets. Do this all the way down. This is the most important part to be careful with because this is the part where you are most likely to make mistakes by connecting either three rings or maybe connecting the rings in the improper order. By the time I'm done connecting this, this will make about 81 different sets and about 9 different strips and that's not including the number of rings used to connect this sets together into strips and the strips together into a sheet. And there you have it. That's how you connect and weave chain mail. You can keep adding strips and lay or not layers, strips on either side, and you can connect them by twisting them and connecting the bottom rings together. You can do basically anything you would with cloth with chain mail. Thank you.